At 11 p.m. on the 4th of August, 1914, Herbert Asquith, the British Prime Minister, addressed the House of Commons in London. He informed the standing deputies that from that time period, England would be at war with Germany. Over the next four years, countless millions were to die while involved in this great conflict. 390,000 Irishmen left these shores to fight in this great struggle. And it's here in the Irish War Memorial Gardens at Island Bridge in Shakur that the memory of 49,000 Irishmen who fell in this great conflict is celebrated. A central feature of the gardens is a long central log, which has a granite pillar at each end. Located at these pillars are four book rooms, and it's within these book rooms that the names of these Irishmen are written on vellum and forever kept there in honour of their memory. Since the foundation of the Free State, we have not preserved an awful lot of our old architectural monuments and buildings. In fact, we have a very poor track record on that. But one of the success stories can be said is the Royal Hospital here in Kilmainham. It was in the cave for many years and a beautiful restoration job has been done on it in the recent years. And it now is the home of the Irish Museum of Modern Art. The hospital dates back to 1680 and it was built by a man called James Butler. He was the Duke of Ormond and the King's Viceroy here in Ireland. He had been inspired by Les Invalides in Paris, which was built by Louis XIV to house his, the veterans of his, of his armies, his, his injured prisoners. And James Butler petitioned King Charles II to allow him to build a similar hospital here in Ireland. It was completed in 1684 and was in use right up to 1922, providing a home for ex-British soldiers. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it's here at Black Horse Bridge on the banks of the Grand Canal, once the great arterial routes through Ireland, that we finish today's tour. Today we've remembered some of the great patriots of our nation. We have visited Kilmainham Jail. We've gone to Richmond Barracks and seen the origins of St. Patrick's Athletics, super, the Super Saints football pitch. And indeed, we have gone to the Gardens of Remembrance in Inchicore and remember the fallen of the 1914-18 war. Also today, we visited the great architectural savior that has become the Irish Museum of Modern Art. It was a great pleasure to speak to you today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed your walk with us through the ancient townland of Kilmainham in Inchicore. <laughs>